Freedom War Medal is the greatest honour that can be bestowed upon an AGA member. It is given to a physician in recognition of their lifelong contributions to the field of gastroenterology. We gratefully acknowledge AstraZeneca for making this award possible through a restricted grant. Today, I am honored to present the Freedom Award Medal to Dr. David Pura. Dr. Pura has served our field with distinction throughout his career as a master teacher and clinician, medical administrator, clinical researcher, and leader of organized gastroenterology. Let's take a look at Dr. Pura's path to AGA's highest honor. David Pura is seen here with his mother. He was born in Massachusetts, the second generation American with strong Finnish roots. His grandmother greatly influenced his development, telling him the family legend was that every generation of Puras had a healer. And before David's birth, she foretold that he would fulfill this role. The University of Vermont was the gateway to medicine, the military, and marriage. On the same day he graduated from college, he's seen here being congratulated by his father. At that same time he was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the army and took this photo with his freshman chemistry partner and future wife, Kristen. Uh, you can tell he's a very military man. <laughs> His active duty with the Army began with a residency in internal medicine at Letterman Army Medical Center in San Francisco. David had planned to become a neurologist, but he had the opportunity to work with Walter P. Peterson and also Miles Schlesinger, who influenced David's decision to pursue gastroenterology. Role models, coupled with the explosion of new knowledge, emerging technologies including advanced endoscopy, and the huge morbidity and mortality of peptic ulcer disease at the time, made his decision easy, and he was off to fellowship training at Walter Reed Army Medical Center in D.C. David rose through the ranks at Walter Reed, holding the rank of Colonel and becoming the consultant to the Army Surgeon General in Gastroenterology and Chief of Gastroenterology, as well as being Associate Professor at the Uniform Services University of the Health Sciences. While at Walter Reed, David recalls Larry Johnson having faith in his potential to be an academic gastroenterologist and Roy Wong as a colleague of 15 years who offered him encouragement and served as a role model of integrity and conviction. Since his military retirement at age 44, seen here at his retirement party, David joined the faculty of the University of Virginia in 1990, where he became a cornerstone of leadership within the division of that medical center. Former college, colleagues tout his exceptional depth and breadth of knowledge, unparalleled work ethic, commitment to clinical research, teaching excellence, phenomenal endoscopic skills, and compassionate clinical care. David is honored to have worked with these current and past GI colleagues at the University of Virginia Medical Center. 
who have taught him more than they likely realize and offered him support and friendship over the past 20 years. While at UVA, David worked closely with Barry Marshall, seen here on the right, a good friend and inspiration. Jim Freston has also been a longtime friend and mentor who has been for David a role model of professionalism and philanthropy. His friends and admirers include, of course, uh, many here at the AGA, uh, seen here in the exotic locale of two previous presidents of the AGA. He has helped bring AGA education to groups around the world, and he appears to be t having far too much fun in this slide, I must say. David has provided exceptional leadership to our organization for decades, most notably as president in 2005, but also as a driving force behind many, many physicians and publication education efforts over the years. Family is the foundation of David's life, starting with his parents, Warren and Mary, who set examples of character, faith and caring spirit. His beloved bride of 42 years, Kristen, has always supported and encouraged him, as have his children, Jessica and Brian, and his daughter-in-law, Jennifer. I would be remiss if I did not include mention of golf in this ret retrospective. Uh, David has been, was very pleased to be chosen as chief resident in San Francisco because it meant another year of golf on the famed Presidio course. That's right. He once remarked, and this is a true feat, that he intended to train enough fellows that he would be guaranteed a complimentary round of golf with them anywhere he travelled in this country and he's uh, made his best to achieve that goal. David's a remarkable individual. Since retiring from full-time academic practice at UBA, David has developed a new passion for cooking, where he says he finds relaxation. And Kristen, uh, being a dedicated wife, put together a cookbook based on uh, David's recipes. Uh, um, the, David has a true love uh, and I think really wanted to be a chef, but I guess being a scientist is somewhat similar. Certainly a towering figure like David Cura is entitled to some relaxation after decades of remarkable service to the AGA and the entire field of technology. Please join me in both thanking my friend and dear colleague, David Pura, for his contributions, but also congratulating him on receiving the Freedom War Medal, the AGA's highest award.
But by honoring me, you're really honoring many other people. Some of the people that you saw there, many that didn't really get uh, their pictures up there. But um, so many people have influenced my life over the years, and I count them as many blessings. Especially, I want to thank my family, Kristen, who's been my support, um, encouragement uh, for 42 years. And to quote my two-and-a-half-year-old grandson, um, when Kristen and I get together, we're eating, um, he'll look and start smiling. He'll lift his cup. He'll say, cheers, grandfather. It doesn't get better than this. That's <laughs> true. Cheers, everyone. Thank you, and God bless all of you.